Hi, welcome back to my channel 5 Minutes Neuroimaging with Bijoy Thomas. Today we have with us uh, Dr. Astik Biswas who is currently a clinical fellow in pediatric neuroradiology at uh, the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto, Canada where I was also a fellow many years back with sweet memories. Welcome Dr. Astik. Uh, he will be talking about uh, globus pallidus in children. Thank you, Dr. Bijoy Thomas, for inviting me on your channel. I'll be talking on bilateral globipalatal lesions in children. The basal ganglia comprise of the putamen, the caudate, and the globus pallidus, and these are functionally connected to the subthalamic nucleus and the substantia nigra. The globus pallidus comprises of an internus and an externus, separated by a thin layer of white matter known as the internal medullary lamina. The external medullary lamina separates the externus from the putamen. The globus pallidus is slightly dark relative to the putamen on T2 weighted images and slightly bright relative to the putamen on T1 weighted images. These are four different cases all with similar findings of hyper intense uh, globus uh, globi pallidi on T2 uh, so history uh, is useful in many of these cases. This first case had a history of remote fire accident. So these changes are compatible with carbon monoxide poisoning. This child had history of neonatal hyperbilirubinemia. So these changes are compatible with chronic connectors. The history in this child is very suggestive of a metabolic etiology. Um, in that acute metabolic decompensation has occurred with a febrile illness and the symmetric almost cystic cavity changes are very typical for methylmalonic acidemia. This child has fuzzy changes involving the globi pallidi and a background delayed myelination. MR spectroscopy was very useful in this case which showed an absent creatine peak at 3 parts per million so this is creatine deficiency. Three different cases, all with similar findings. Again, uh, in addition to the globi palatal signal changes, all these three cases have symmetric changes involving the dentate nuclei. In the first case, there is a lactate doublet at 1.3. So this is Lay's syndrome. The second case has striatal hyperintensity, again very symmetric, looks like a metabolic process, as well as um, diffuse depth of the sulcus restricted diffusion. Um, striatal involvement should um, make you think of an organic acidemia, and this was propionic acidemia. The third case has very striking uh, abnormality in the dentate nuclei with mild signal change in the globi pallidi and this child responded clinically and radiologically to vigabatrin uh, and that is very characteristic of SSADH deficiency. Moving on, um, this four-year-old boy with caffeole spots has uh, bilateral globi pallidal dentate brainstem um, hyper intensities, uh, the right optic nerve is enlarged relative to the normal left side. Um, so these are phases of type 1 neurofibromatosis. A classic case, the history is very important here. Um, this in child is on treatment for infantile spasms, has symmetric changes in the globi pallidi, thalami, subthalamic nuclei, brainstem and dentate nuclei. Uh, so these are characteristic vigabatrin related MRI signal changes. Uh, it is important to be aware of this as uh, so as not to misdiagnose this as a metabolic mitochondrial etiology. Most cases are asymptomatic and reversible on withdrawal of the drug. This is a classic case of uh, maple syrup urine disease. You can see in, in addition to involvement of the myelinated white matter, there's involvement of the globus pallidus and dentate nuclei. And finally, um, this case shows diffuse supratentorial swelling and uh, hyperintensity, globus pallidus involvement. There's typical sparing of the putamen and caudate, thalamic involvement, dentate involvement.
spectroscopy shows elevated NAA peak and this is Kahneman disease. In part 2, I'll be talking about T1 hyperintense lesions in the globi pallidae. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Astik, uh, for showing us the beautiful differentials of globus pallidus T2 hyperintense lesions. Please wait for the next part. Meanwhile, if you have not yet uh, subscribed our channel, please subscribe and please don't forget to press the bell icon.